Sit. Good girl. <clears throat> so if you don't have food, because when I'm rewarding her, I'll say, good. But if you don't have food, you can say, good, and she'll still feel like she got a, a reward, just in case if you ever run out of food or you haven't had a chance to grab a piece. So, no. See how she broke out of that sit? See this tension on the leash? Gentle but firm. If you have to, you can just gently but firmly ease her down. That's all you have to do. Just be consistent. No. See, it worked the second time better. Just be really consistent. See, it's economy of movement, economy of words. No. I'm about to release her to be free to go on the grass. So, you have her sit before you're about to release her to be free with your right hand, pat her chest and say, go. So she's free. And you can take the rest of the walk free like this. And I wanted to do this so I could show you how I'm calling her back to come to me. But what I've done is I've been practicing uh, with a long line as well, uh, but this is just a six foot leash, um, just to, be, to break it down to make it really simple for you. Left hand leash, right hand reward. It's a target of a fist. A half open hand or going like this is not going to work well because when you're, if you're going to do this training for a few weeks or four or five weeks after she leaves me and so she gets so much better than this, then um, you need to phase that food out as soon as possible after three or four weeks. And if you call her to a fist with that food in a fist, then after a while you can stop having the food in the fist and she'll still love to come to this. If you have a half open hand or open hand like that, she's going to see that there's no food in there and not come to it. So we always call her to a fist. There's a little piece of natural balance sausage in here. I always practice calling her away from a distraction. So at the very least, I'm going to wait till she's sniffing or um, at least looking at something else. I'm never going to call her when she's staring at me because the whole, the whole idea is to have her very accustomed to coming away from something, breaking away when she hears me call her. Come! See that? Just like that. See how I'm backing away? Good. My left hand takes the leash and then I step into her and have her sit and she can get another reward. Good. See how I'm, ins I'm insisting that she look up at me? Good. Every time I reward her, I'm never bending over like this. So if you're doing that, make sure that you stop that because a dog that's well trained is always checking back with its owner and the owner's back is straight. So you don't want to be catering to her because the dogs, so many dogs, wait for the giant hand to come out of the sky and don't pay any attention to you and you end up just serving the dog think, and they think you're their servant. So um, make sure that you're doing this. Okay. Sit. See how I'm putting it by my face so she looks at my eyes? Good. So much easier for you and getting a clear message to her that, hey, that's central command. She's, the more you do this, the more she's going to be checking back with you, looking up at you like that. Good. Just like that. If you, you see her sitting next to you like this and she's checking back with you like that, go ahead. Reward her. Good. Because that's what you're going to do when you see other animals too on the leash. She's, we're teaching her to come away from distractions and she's going to look up at you. You got to give her a reason to really be motivated. Good. To turn back to you like that. So one more time, I'm going to release her. My right hand, pat her chest. See how it's a loose leash? Never restrain her. This is all about the leash being loose and the dog making the right choice. So keep the leash loose. With your right hand, pat her chest and say, go. She knows that means that she's been released. And then I'll wait for her to, to be distracted or walk away from me. See, left hand leash, right hand reward, come. See how she's coming to this target? See how if I change direction, She'll follow this target. Good. My left hand grabs a leash like that. I step into her. Very important. See? Stepping into her. Have her sit. Good. Just practice that. She, already, she knows how to do it. If you do my moves, she'll do that. And she's just, like I said, she's just been here for four days. So she's the quick learner. She's really getting it. And remember, less is more. So less noises less bending over, uh, less commands, less everything. And she'll be a lot more efficient with her training. Okay. <laughs>